What is going on, you guys? A couple days ago, my beautiful wife Haley and I went on a quick trip to our local combo unit Goodwill. This is one big Goodwill store. Half of it is a regular Goodwill, and the other half is the Goodwill bins. And we were able to find some really nice items. Check it out. Anything good today? That's for Nikes up here. Nike Free? Nike Zoom? Zoom Pegasus or something? I don't know. They're a little dirty, but they should clean up. $6.50. I think these will clean up nice. Maybe 30, 35 bucks. All right, let's see what's back here. I think they like redid like the whole inventory back here like cleared out a bunch of stuff and haven't really fully stocked it the shelves are nearly as full and packed down as they usually are look at this cute little elephant just found this build-a-bear uh it's a build-a-bear monkey with atlanta braves shirt on it's got a little build-a-bear tagged on there some pants with his tail sticking out this should be 50 cents so we'll go ahead and grab this <laughs> thank you so thank much you. No, I didn't have to get <laughs> yeah that's right have a good one so we spent seven bucks on this stuff. I don't know the exact sold comps on the shoes, but uh, definitely profitable. We're gonna go ahead and drop this stuff back in the car and then head next door to the Goodwill Bins. This is Haley's first time during like a restock day at the Goodwill Bins. <laughs> so I'm super excited to see how she reacts to this. So like this middle row right here, one that, anywhere where people are, and that's the new stuff generally. It's like all the shoes are, Probably, actually, these are probably new because they still have the. Okay, I'm gonna go get it back. Excuse me, sir. What's up, Brandon? What's going on, man? Living the dream, brother. Tap shoes. I feel like those are good. It's Rawlings Pro. 502 BFB. So I couldn't find soul comps on this exact model, but other models that look similar and have similar model names are selling for upwards of 200 plus dollars. So I definitely need to do more research into this glove, but it was a great find. It's good shape. There's another baseball glove here. This is a left-handed thrower glove. Pretty good shape. There's one missing lace right there, but I think it just needs maybe some relacing, a little conditioning. I and mean, we're probably gonna pay like two bucks for it here. Even in con current condition, I could probably get like 15 to 20 for it. So I'll grab that. What'd you find? I'm finding a lot of stuff, but I don't know if they're gonna be. Well, should, okay, let me look at these. Oops, sorry. These are good. And these are burned of my day. Oh, you found some hokas. Nice. I don't know if they're good. All right, these are good. We'll get these. Just need a little bit of cleaning. Wine cells. Sorry. <laughs> um, bottoms are pretty, pretty bald, but they're only gonna be like two bucks. Thanks. Like yeah, I mean we'll still get them. I mean, I've sold some in worse condition <laughs> than this. Um, probably not much, maybe like 25 bucks or so, but definitely worth Should it. Should I um, keep looking for the other pair of these shoes? Um, these, no, because the bottom's oh. coming off. Um, those are in really good condition. These, I haven't had a lot of luck with the Ravenna 7, so we'll pass on those. But those, yeah, if you can find it. Hey, Ashley. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? You come here a lot for somebody that doesn't live here. <laughs> well, I'm off every other Friday, and today, more yeah. That's awesome. And today's my birthday. Oh, this happy birthday. Where, this is where I wanted to send it. I don't blame you. I don't blame you a bit. That's awesome. You find anything good yet? Uh, we got a few things. Oh, it's a cool little elf narwhal. Yeah, I'm going to grab a that. Bunch over there. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see them. These are awesome. Especially here because they're so cheap. Bag them. Let me get all these. Hold on to these for a few months. Till Christmas. At the Goodwill Bins, everything is sold by the weight, so I would guess that these probably cost me about 50 cents a piece, and I'm gonna hold on to them until around October, November. List them on eBay for probably like 
$12.99 free shipping. They're going to cost about $3 to ship out, so I should profit maybe like 8 bucks on each one. So you can see there's some pretty serious money here, as long as they all sell. I'm either going to make a lot of money or own a lot of narwhal wine stoppers. I just threw this one away, but it's not a very good brand, but it's a 11. I think this is a women's size 11. It's cool. Like it's in good shape. Here's the other one right here. It's got a nice little like unique pattern up there. Fabric up upper, so it's not leather. But these are cool. These will be probably like three bucks. Maybe you can get like 20, 25 for them. There's some Nikes. They're sitting around. They're pretty bald, and that's why they're sitting up here. Those are cool looking, though. So this right here, Ariat. Now the challenge is, can we find the matching? Oh, look at here, look at here, look at here. There it is, baby. Man, this is a good day. Haley just found this pair of Nike shocks here. Really good condition. Well, so remember I was telling you about the bend test or whatever? So if you bend these, you can see the like little bit of cracking on the soles. So if somebody starts walking in them, they're gonna fall apart pretty quickly. But other than that, they're in good shape. Anytime I find shoes that look, like especially here, that look really good, I always bend them because usually they're like dry rotted. Somebody's just like let them stay in the garage forever. Okay. Oh, look here, look here. I know I couldn't get them on the Christmas day. Mess of shoelaces. Okay, these are, these are kids, but these should be good. Kids has one. I'm sure they're worth it before I try to untangle them. Uh, they're a little eat up. Untangled the white ones. But I think there was some damage on the back. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Hey, man, let, me take, let me ask you a question. You take a risk on this. Yeah. I just happy to look at it. I'm looking at the expiration date. So, this is what the soul comes in. This is all the way in April, but one bottle sold for $51.99. Uh, yeah. I would, let, me, let me get this. Okay. So, my man Brandon Green just showed me they found a whole box of these Pure Nails Pro. What was the expiration? 721? 721. One, is that the only sole comp? Yeah, that's the only one, though. That's the, that's the I tell you what, man, let me, look at, let me look it up on Amazon. See what's going on. One sold in March, same price. I think that's, I think that's a killer find, but let's confirm here. So. Nothing on Amazon that I can see. I'm probably just not putting enough information. I mean, it's they're so cheap. I'm just gonna get yeah, it. I mean, they're not expired. Yeah. I mean, even if it's something for 30 bucks a piece, I mean, that's still a deal. That's like four or five hundred dollars worth of stuff, man. That's crazy. <laughs> you never know what you can find here, man. I've only found one, of course. Of course, you only found one. I've never seen anything like this, though. That is crazy. So, this would be okay if we could find the other one. I mean, pre owned, they're listed for like 50 to 60. Uh, sold, yeah, I, was, I thought it was gonna be better than that. Yeah, sold brand new, 50 bucks. Oh, I got pretty excited because I've never seen anything like this before. It's a cool shoe, but I thought it was gonna be like super rare or something, but apparently it's not. There are Jordans right here. Uh, peeling a little bit on the toe. These kind of feel weird too. I don't know. Seven youth. Hmm. Yeah. There's some listed right there, 25 bucks plus shipping. 23. So they're not like they're probably like a mall, a mall Jordan, not like a, a number Jordan. I need to learn more about Jordans because there's a lot of money in them, but not this pair. Got this uh, pair of Comfortiva shoes, women's shoes, really good condition. Probably not worth a ton. I, I looked them up. I mean, there's some that sold for like 14 bucks plus shipping, $31 plus shipping, 24 free shipping. I mean, these are super lightweight, so they're probably going to be $2, like $2, $2.50. Great condition, no cleaning necessary. We just need to take pictures of them. So I think it'll be worth it turning two bucks into like even like 15 plus shipping will be worth it. 
there are books back here? This would be in great condition. Ghost 12s. Two extra wide, size nine and a half. Oh, frick. That's why they're sitting there. Look at this. Vit Vitamix blender container. Yeah, they, I don't know if they, I just kind of, I'm extremely careful to buy anything. I don't buy, I mess with a lot of electronics. Well, this doesn't have any electronics in it. This is just like the yeah. blender container. Uh, the, the KitchenAid uh, mixing bowls, they sell like, they yeah. sell good. They're like, I, be, I bet you I could probably get 50, 60 bucks for that. Well, I mean. Is I, Vitamix? I mean, these are like four or five, six hundred dollar oh, yeah. blenders. Then uh, KitchenAid, I got to do a five, five pound of blending bowl. Yeah. They got 58. Yeah. There's yeah. there's money out here, man. Oh, you just, yeah. just got to got to look for it. Always, not always, but sometimes I find these things, these like little tiny like DIY uh, cross stitch kits. And if you can find a couple of them, like two or three or five of them and lot them together, they sell pretty well. Obviously they don't sell as well now as they did back in like peak lockdown, but I mean, this is almost free here, maybe like 10 cents. So I'll just grab it. I just found this head, head tennis racket, IX6 mid plus. The head is in good shape. I mean, some of the strings are a little crooked. The grip has like masking tape over it, but there's one that sold for 75, 79, 40, 38. So I think this is definitely worth picking up. It would probably cost about three bucks or so. You might even take this straight to play it again sports and maybe get 25 for it like today. So definitely need to look out for tennis rackets. So okay, let me. So, I'll let you so check my it friend out. Ashley just I, you you had all this and you're just not getting it. Yeah. Okay, so we got a, a Pentax point and shoot camera, IQ zoom. I I know the the Pentax camera I picked up in Utah was really good, so I'm not even gonna look up comps on that. I'm just gonna get it, try it out. The CD player. Yeah. Let's see. Looks good. There. Check the battery compartment. That looks good. Grab that camcorder. JVC Compact. Model GRAXM910U. I'm sure that's good. I'm gonna look up that just because it's heavy, but yeah, these two things, I'll definitely grab those. Okay. Thank you, I appreciate that. But the camcorder, I'm not sure, because um, I don't know if it works or not. I mean, it looks to be in good physical condition, but it's kind of heavy, it'll probably cost like I don't know, maybe six or seven dollars. There's one that sold for 75 plus shipping, another one for parts uh, that sold for 20 free shipping, another one sold for 50 plus shipping. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna regret it if I leave it here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this here. It came with the, comes with the bag, the charging cable, maybe, I don't know, power supply, some tapes, extra batteries. Yeah, I'll grab it. Just walking by, I saw this logo. I'm pretty sure that's cool. Like KU, yeah, KUHL. I've never found cool before, ever. It's got a little stain right there, but that should come out. This inner tag. This looks, this is awesome, for sure. I don't know what comps are on this, but I know cool is a good brand, so I'm gonna grab it. 5853, okay. That sounds better. <laughs> Not too much, but. <laughs> you got 27 pounds worth of bins, 10 pounds worth of electronics in your bag. It's too big. Got it. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate it. You too. Let's see. Let me grab that. Thank you so much. Okay. Whew. It's heavy. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys soul comps on almost everything we picked up today. The only thing still up in the air is that black baseball glove. I could not find another glove like it either listed or sold. I found others that were a different color and maybe like one letter off or one number off on the model number, but they looked very, very similar and those were selling for $170 up to $250 even in used condition. So I think with mine, I'm just going to use a little bit of leather conditioner, make it look really nice, get it ready to be photographed and listed and list it pretty high, maybe like $199.99 plus shipping and just see what happens. If it doesn't sell at that price, I can always 
send out offers or drop the price later. But the last thing I want to do is just assume it's not a valuable glove and then list it for $50 and then have it sell immediately because some baseball guru out there knows this exact model of glove and knows that it's a $200 glove. So that's my thought process going through this. But I don't want to be redundant with the other items that I've already showed you. I think all in all, we spent like $58. Let's round it up to 60 to include gas going there and going back, even though it's super close to our house. So 60 bucks all in for this trip. And I think once we account for cost of goods, fees, expenses, everything like that, we should see a total net profit from this haul of around 300 to $350. Again, that baseball glove is a huge question mark and I'm trying to be pretty conservative here, but I think around that $300 mark in net profit take home pay is what we're gonna be looking at for today's haul. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I definitely appreciate your time. If you could take a couple seconds and hit that like button down below, I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below if you want more content just like this. Thank you guys again for watching. You're the best and we'll catch you on the next one.